Hey. Hello. <laughs> Back again. All right, well, welcome everybody to our weekly recap. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sharky. I'm Jessica. You can find me at sharky.sp on Instagram, and you can find her at jessc.sp, or my piercings Instagram is piercingsbyjessc.sp. So thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this channel. There's a notification bell somewhere around there. I'm sure you can find it. But uh, turn that on. We upload all the time, and we do new weekly premieres and new recaps every Friday. So please stay tuned and make sure that your friends and family are a part of it as well. So this week, uh, I got to tattoo my sister Chalice. Well, she's my brother's wife, one of my best friends. We grew up together, and his beautiful wife, she came in to get this whole floral abdomen piece and kind of coming up here and it's family flowers and you know, memorial piece to, to commemorate her family. But we also got to do some really cool filigree and some things like that coming up around it. It's pretty awesome. You can see pictures of it possibly here or in the next segment there. How's it going guys? It's Eric's back from Sharky's Paradise. Follow me at Erox Artwork on Instagram and welcome to another week. Again this week, tattooing another coworker. Shout out, Ink by Bondi. Oh yeah, buddy. High five. <laughs> Santi, uh, one of our coworkers who we work with here, uh, got a palm tattoo. Super painful spot to hear her tell it. Uh, we did a crescent moon skull uh, in the palm of her hand. Super fun. It's the first palm that I've ever done. So it was really an interesting experience. It's weird seeing how the different skins take different needles and inks. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, We Are One Tattoo. How y'all doing? So this week, we started out with a geometric, like half sleeve, quarter sleeve on the forearm. And that was super dope. We did it with a lot of negative space, light grays, as well as a little bit of black. And that was actually a cover up. I dare you to try to find it. So this week I also did a Grim Reaper on a swing, like an adolescent Grim Reaper in like a neo-traditional style, but all black. That was great. And it actually was going along with us hanging Spider-Man and Deadpool on the other calf. Hey guys, que pasa? <laughs> How are you? I hope everybody is doing great. Uh, thanks for watching us again. Very excited to tell you what's happening this week. I did a tree with like a very colorful background in a circle shape for two sisters and they were just amazing. So I'm a tattoo veteran. I already had four. My sister had had none. She's always wanted one. So we decided we're coming from Ohio to Colorado and we would get matching sister tattoos. We ended up with two pine trees it's for two sisters, but the pine trees also uh, represent being evergreen, everlasting. How was the tattoo experience? It was great. Uh, Alex is great, smooth, easy, not painful. Well, maybe a little, but not painful too much. <laughs> so it was great. We appreciate it. Maybe back someday. <laughs> How's it going? It's going fine. Oh, that's painful as I thought. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Figure if I could have four children, I could have a tattoo. Right? right? <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Seeing how everybody just takes tattoos as a very like meaningful thing, and a client talked to me the other day saying these needles are for making art on your body. I was like, oh, that's such an amazing way to see the tattoos, and we had super fun time. She was super nice. Yes, come and get matching tattoos with me. So this guy walking and he wanted a dice where life is pain, because life is pain sometimes. But anyways, he wanted it like right here. He ended up having a bunch of tattoos and we talked about it and he made them himself. So that was a little bit intimidated like he has to do a bunch of things and now I'm gonna do this tiny thing that probably will, you know, like, be good or bad. <laughs> but it was great, he loved it. How are you feeling? Fine. Fine. Awesome. What brings you to Sharky's 
tattooing. <laughs> he ended up like DJing for a few bars and he's gonna come back and he's gonna like have a party with us and like, ooh, great time. Thank you for your support though. My client, the greatest client, Life is Pain DJ. So for Chelsea, uh, we start doing half of sleep. We only did line work with her just because a unexpected situation that we had. She had to tattoo that day and she ended up tattooing this on me, which I love it. But I just did fine line, line work and we still need to finish the shading and the colors and all that. It's supposed to be a uh, neo-traditional tattoo, but it's gonna be amazing. Uh, she's super happy with it. She's very excited to finish it like in a couple weeks after. And yes, stay tuned for how the half the sleeve end up being. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that we like to do here in the shop is we like to work on each other so that way we have some experience on exactly, you know, what it's like to get tattooed. So right now we have Alex. She uh, just worked on Chelsea's arm, got some good experience there. And right now Chelsea's about to return the favor. How does this make you feel? Very good. I am very <laughs> nervous though, but I'm good. What the f did she just say? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Sharky's Paradise. Um, glad you're here. <laughs> so last week, Alex got to do some line work and tattoo on me. So we swapped and I did some leaves on her forearm right here. I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken. Can I get a tattoo? I'm gonna break down. Oh! This part down here is yeah, rough. <laughs> Those are always challenging to do because they're on another tattoo artist, so they're sitting there watching you the whole time. And she's more seasoned than I am, so she's just, she's really great at giving me advice, but then it adds an extra element of nervousness to the whole tattoo. Yes. And you just need to wet wipe in by like soft. Nice and soft. Like, I'm trying. You know when you go like on the ocean. Am I hurting you? Yes. Oh. How'd that wipe make you feel? way better <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it came out great and we both got some sick ink that night so it was fun what do you think about that hector <laughs> nature so i did a really cool tattoo of some handwriting of a homeopathic physician that wrote a letter to the u.s surgeon general in 1843 um, this tattoo was awesome. I really liked doing it. She wanted it to be as close to his handwriting as possible So we did the little ink blots and stuff and she loved it. I loved it. It turned out great A little bit you have to say Hector. We have to say Turtles <clears throat> Sorry uh. <laughs> Hello, my name's Hector. I'm an alcoholic. I'm kidding. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Hector from Sharky's Paradise. So this week, a best friend of mine, her little brother was coming in to get his first tattoo, and her mom had messaged me before the tattoo, asking me if I could mess with him a little bit. So what we did was we blindfolded him, and I said that I came up with a pretty cool design, and you know, I was just gonna stencil on him, and once we got it all done, take off the blindfold, show him the stencil, and you know, see his reaction. What's up, Devin? I see you're blindfolded. Blinded at the moment. <laughs> you really have no idea. <laughs> Somewhat of an idea, I'd say. One twist, <laughs> I put a penis on his arm. <laughs> oh, that's sick. All right, you wanna take it off and look at it? Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh hell, no fuck, bro. Let me see. That's nice. Oh hell. I'm your mom sent me. It looks super good. Oh my god. Jeff's mom will love him so much. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I thought it was a really funny joke, you know. I've known him for his whole life. He's been amazing. He definitely has a great sense of humor, so I knew he wouldn't be butthurt about it, but he loved it so much, so. It was funny seeing his reaction after we took the blindfold off, but don't worry, he did not get that tattooed on him. Instead of that, after we wiped off the stencil, 
he had uh, wanted a cross tattoo, but instead of the cross being the normal just two lines, he wanted them to be the nails that uh, were on Jesus during the whole crucifixion and everything. I thought that was a really cool twist on the tattoo. I've never seen anything like that before. So, you know, it was nice to give him something that he did want. <laughs> I gotta do some Renaissance hands that are touching, the iconic little pose. This time it wasn't on like a forearm, it was right on the neck, so that was a little difficult just because of the placement, but I executed it pretty well. My client really loved it. He definitely is booking again soon, which is awesome. Uh, definitely not gonna do another neck piece, but I can't wait to see what he comes up with. This week, I got to do a, an original design made by yours truly right here. It was a sheep cut in half and the other half was a wolf chasing her. So I thought that was a really cool, neat design. The girl that came in and got it was really spontaneous. She has a lot of just random tattoos. She doesn't put too much thought into them. So I thought that was really cool, the fact that she just hit me up right away when I put the tattoo up for sale and I got the tattoo original art. So I think that's always a great opportunity to do at the shop. Let's see, I think last week I had um, a few piercings. <laughs> As always, I did some septum piercings. I like doing those with titanium jewelry. Ends up no problem. So pretty, you gotta be so proud of yourself now. <laughs> There's that for you. Did a couple navel piercings, which are also known as belly piercings in the real human world. Nose piercings, also known as nostril piercings in my world. <laughs> So cute. Did some ear piercings, pretty interesting. Those are really cool. Bring me all your piercings, I love them. And an eyebrow, that was really fun. What's up guys, it's Devin over at Sharky's Paradise on Instagram, uh, Slater Inks. Welcome to the video. All right, so kicking off this week, I did a whale on uh, these ribs. This girl came in and she was like, I'm, I'm, I'm 17, right? I want a neck tattoo and it's gonna be a butterfly. No. So what if we do something else instead? And I'll give it to you regardless. Uh, of course, her mother signed off on everything, but we were able to rework a different design. And it turns out she had this really nice, super simplistic little whale that she wanted on her ribs. It ended up being a better tattoo, I think. And it came out really beautiful and I, I love it very much. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Smile. <laughs> Yay. My name is Haley. I'm getting my first tattoo right now of a whale. I got my ribs. Pain tolerance out of 10. Probably five. Whales are my favorite animals. I'm scared of the ocean, but I love whales. I'm not sure how that works. Why did you pick Sharky's Paradise tattoo? My ex-boyfriend actually got a tattoo here. Why did you pick Sharky's Paradise tattoo? We're still friends. What are you doing, Ralph? Love it. Hey, how old are you? How old are you? High five. <laughs> Oof. I was a five-year-old superhero around me. There's a few other things that we did this week, but mainly this was the 4th of July coming up, so we got to go out and let loose. Woo! 
went up to Wyoming. My beautiful wife and her family have a legacy of fireworks, responsibly blowing shit up up there. And so we went up there and we followed in suit. And we responsibly blew some shit up. That was fun. Yeah. All right, we're here on the 4th of July, doing things. What's oh, up? Yeah. Well, 3rd of July, we're doing things up here. You know, say what's up. Let's see what's going on out here. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Firing them off, firing them off. Love yeah, it. Thanks for letting us come by. Heck yeah. We did like karaoke forever and ever, all night, a couple nights we were there. And then my mom, it seems like at the end of every 4th of July, she likes to grab, secretly grab the fireworks that weren't blown off. You know, like maybe the ones that weren't sold in the store and go throw them in the bonfire where other people are throwing things in the bonfire and then start a huge war. But that's my mom. I love her. Shout, Shout out, out mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's one way to get rid of them. <laughs> oh, there they go, there they go. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, put your torch up, go! And I love being able to go spend time with the family and go do things like that. So shout out America for giving us another birthday to celebrate. Where do you want it on your answer? Right here. I get in the flower one. Nice, that's cool. Where are you going to put that one, Allie? On my leg. Ooh, how's it feeling, Axel? Good. Tell us what you think, Axel. Uh, awesome. Yeah? <laughs> Ooh, the Ooh, show him your cool tattoo. Dang, look at that. Look at that. Some more down here too. No, that's a cobra snake. That's a, cobra that's a snake. ship. Got a ship? Right there. Yes. Okay. What do you think, Allie? Get it! You know, one of the most exciting things that we have going on in the shop is just watching the growth of everybody, all the artists, you know. And one of the cool things about being, you know, an instructor or a mentor is that we get to go walk around and we get to, like, see the growth of these other artists. And especially at the beginning of your tattoo journey, you're faced with the ground a lot. So you think that you're going to do something amazing and then flat on your face and it's not that awesome. And then you have to recover. And that's part of, like, growing as an artist. I'm happy to say that I see positive results from every single person in the shop that we currently have there. I'm like really, really proud to see everybody grow. If it's a little bit of knowledge here and there, whatever it is, the experience, they've definitely picked something up from us. I've picked up a ton from you. I've been in everybody's position where they're at, where I have someone hovering over me telling me to like clean up a line or do it this way. I've been put in tears. <laughs> The thing is, is like you can't grow unless you're trying new things. So I'm always willing to try new things, even to this day. Like I think we together still try to learn even more everywhere we go by anybody. It's a very unique industry and I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm honored to watch everybody grow within our shop. It's just been awesome. So shout out to all you guys who are working your butts off to help us keep the doors open. You guys are the real heroes, you know? You guys are the guy that are developing into the guides that people come to us for tattoos. I thought I was gonna rip, that was weird. Um, <laughs> I was able to have a returning client come in, DJ Colin, he is super awesome. He definitely DJs in our shop, but he's been a client of mine since at the old shop. We've been working on a lot of stuff on his arm, a lot of patchwork that's really significant to him. So we were able to add some more to his patchwork sleeve. There are different topographical maps of the places that he has backpacked. So he was able to add one down on his wrist area, one up on the back of his elbow, and then one on the front of his, uh, arm, ditch, forearm, that area. And so it's really cool to see all that, especially because it's such a organic shape once you start getting all that stuff in with all the lines of the topographical map. I also had a returning client, lots of returning clients coming in, which is super awesome, super excited for that. But she wanted to do a, a I had another floral wrap around the ankle, but hers said me too in French, so it was moi aussi. And she wanted it very subtle in there, just kind of flowing together, and she wanted to put that in there. So she had something to remind her of everything that she's been through in life and make it very simplistic, but super pretty for her. Mmm, food. Mmm. Ah. Crack the pebble open. Cut open. Cut it out. Real good food for you. Hey. Say hi, Devin. 
Hey, Devin. Wait, what? <laughs> Following that, we did the three little dragons going up this girl's back. It was her first tattoo. It was very, very lovely to do first time tattoos all the time. I love doing them. Uh, her dad joined us for the tattoo. It is from a book that they used to read together when she was little. So we got to knock out a very sentimental piece for her and dad could be there for the whole thing, which was really nice. Got to do another coworker tattoo. Always, always a gift when I get to tattoo my friends. So we decided to do these four Valkyrie ladies going up my coworker Eric's arm. It was actually a very challenging piece for me right at first. I kind of wanted to cry. Uh, he's got a scary face. Uh, so step by step, right? Work in the line work first, and then we're gonna go back in and doing the shading later. So it's just like one bite at a time on a piece like that. Ended up taking us, I think, 14 hours, but we managed to finish almost the entire thing in one night, which was a long time but it was actually very rewarding and i feel like i learned a lot from that tattoo it's fun to have someone who pushes you and I, sometimes i don't always have that on the little the little butterfly tattoos so it was nice to kind of break out of my comfort zone a little bit and get to do it on someone who i'm gonna see every day the other two tattoos i had this week were a few walk-ins one of them was a pinterest tattoo of mountains yeah, we had fun with it. Pretty simple. Ran a seven round liner on it, shaded it out a little bit. Looked pretty good. The other walk-in that I had this week was a Harry Potter themed tattoo, the Deathly Hollows. We did always using the symbol as an A. So quick banger, got in and out, had a good time with it, and yeah, turned out like a pretty good piece. As always, I love doing lettering. We did the word gospel, which is very personal to me. My family actually started a church out in Boulder about 120 years ago, so that's great to do those kind of tattoos. Yeah, as always, I mean, if we have a second to spare time, it's always great to practice your fundamentals and your skills. So this week I chose to do like a little squirrel on a pile of nuts that basically says, love man less, but nature more. And I mean, I feel like that's something personal to everyone just because we need to make sure that we're loving our planet just as much as we're loving each other. When I say I have a lot of designs up for grabs, I literally mean that I have everything from the perfect little Buddha with spray cans in his hands and perfect peace with the world, all the way to Greek sleeves for both men and women, and little flower designs, everything you can imagine. Get the f out of my face, Hector. So here at Sharky's Paradise, I finally got to do my first anime piece. I thought that that was so awesome. I got to do the almighty Shenron from Dragon Ball Z on a man's forearm. And oh my god, I'll tell you this much, it's truly a blessing to tattoo anime just because I grew up watching it as a kid and now the fact that I'm tattooing it on people and it's lasting for life is just amazing. It was just so much fun just to get back to my roots and everything. So this week I had a man come in and he wanted an Iron Man tattoo. Not what you think, I know. Tony Stark, I wish, I wish, one day. But I thought this tattoo was really cool because it was a trophy tattoo almost. So the Iron Man is this triathlon event that this man had completed. After you finish, most people get the tattoo done on their leg and uh, that's what we did this week. So I thought that was awesome to give him, you know, an accomplishment after what he'd already done. I thought that was just incredible. So this week at Sharky's Paradise, I had a returning client that I had recently done when I was tattooing out of my house. Big shout out, Samantha. She, this time, wanted to go for another crazy piece. Her first piece was underneath her chest. This time, it was on her ribs. And then it was an original design I did. It was some barbed wire uh, thorns that were uh, holding these two bird skulls on it. So I thought that, that was like kind of creepy. She kind of wanted that little creepy style. So it was nice to give her something that she, you know, definitely wanted. I got to do another tattoo on another artist in the shop. Hector let me do another anime tattoo on him, and that was really fun because I really got to practice my stipple shading, and that's now one of my favorite techniques to do is the stipple shading. I think it's really fun, and I'm excited to do more like that. That looks so good, Chelsea. Yeah.
yes, a girl came in the, sh the shop and she apparently saw portfolios and she liked my work. It's great, it's a great feeling when like someone says, hey, I saw Alex's portfolio. I want to get tattooed by her and I'm like, oh, thank you. I don't know if I will ever get rid of that feeling, but yes, it's great. She wanted just like a cross negative space on like, this part of the arm and with flowers. This client gave me the choice with the flowers and they were amazing, uh, in the, it ended up really good. Thanks for your support again. And she got a little baby, so cute. She came over and say hi with her husband. It's great to just meet people that, you know, have real lives. Yeah, so we did a finisher sleeve it was beautiful, lots of work, lots of color. She did great that day too. I can't wait to like kind of see her after it heals and maybe have some touch ups or anything. So it was pretty much two sessions. The second and last session, I hope I have another like touch up time with her, but yeah, we finished colors, we finished little details, we finished gray wash, everything pretty much. I could see some line work healed and I was pretty happy with it. And yes, she loved it. I can't wait to just do more sleeves. I learned a lot from that tattoo though. So I can't wait to just tattoo every day, every time. And thank you Jennifer for your support. So, the other day, Sam came in, she said uh, she wanted to have like whatever I wanted. And I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? So I showed her a little bit, I asked her, so do you like like maybe snakes? She's like, oh yeah, I actually have a snake. And I was like, great, and I love flowers. Awesome, let's do this one. She was a little nervous because of a previous situation that happened with her, but after that, she was amazing. She was super happy with the tattoo. It was super good. As far as permanent makeup goes, I had a really cool client come in. She actually ended up getting her eyebrows done and then she asked me about lash enhancement. So we did lash enhancement and then she came back the next week and we touched up a really old tattoo that she had on her ankle and I fixed the cross in it. It was just like an old Jesus fish with the cross. Um, she had it done when she was really young and then I ended up doing her lip blush as well. That was really neat. Super excited to participate in the convention coming up, Villain Arts Show. Stay tuned, that'll be coming up soon. It's always a good time. Got some good pieces planned for that. This is a beautiful opportunity for people, especially these young artists in our shop, to really get a measure as to where they stand in the grand scheme of things. So we uh, wanted to take a second to introduce our family a little bit here. This is the lifeblood of what we got going on and the whole reason that we're doing this. So right now we got the youngest, Ali. Come on down, come on down. Ooh, yeah, right here's my beautiful daughter, Ali. She is killing, can we get a little flex? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you see the muscles? We also got young Axel, come on down. This young man right here, he's got the power of his power hair right here. He's also a ninja in training, and how many stripes on your jujitsu belt? Five stripe jujitsu practitioner. Let's get a flex. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. And then we've got the cornerstone and the boss of the entire kids clan here, young Miss Chloe. Chloe dog, come on down, Chloe dog. All right, right here, if you have any questions about what we have going on in our life or our family or what direction you should be headed in your life, please continue to ask Chloe because she will definitely tell you what's up. 
All right, and last but not least, we got Python and Viper. Coming on in, we got Cliff and Tayden right here. The boys, the boys. Come over here, can we get a little family flex here? Let's get a little family flex, flex that's right. <laughs> all right, more importantly, we just want to make sure that you guys all know that this is our lifeblood. This is the reason that we do all this, and I hope that you guys have something similar in your life that motivates you guys. All right, guys, we appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure to check out all of our social medias. Thanks for following our art. Thanks for following our channel. Can't wait to see your guys' faces again at the shop. Can't wait to see new faces and some old ones. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out, as well as get some designs in place and get some tattoos rolling. I look forward to catching you guys next week again. We're so appreciative of everybody out there who shows support to our family and shows support to our business and all the people within our business. So at the end of the day, thank you so much for all your support and thank you so much for the, for the opportunity to be able to do the things we do for you. Love you guys. Be, be sure, sure to like, like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. To what? To Sharky's Paradise. Sharky's Paradise. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>